A Premier Entertainment did another beauty pageant. We do a couple of those every year. And I did the lighting design for it. A couple of my guys did the audio, video, and lighting. And by the time that we got all set up and done, we found, or they found out rather, that there was only one outlet, one circuit. That's it. So all those leakos that they had, not possible. Well, that's great. So what are we gonna do to really wash the stage out? Well, the ADJ COB Cannon Wash, DW, came to the rescue and blew out our expectations for just two of these fixtures right here. Long gone are the days of trying to pull enough power to pretty much power California just to run a basic stage wash. Long gone, long gone are the days of doing different gels to get just the right color temperature that you need for white. Now, the ADJ Cop Can Wash DW is one of a kind. Guys, let's take a look here at Gear It First. This guy is a beast. So first of all, let's kind of take a look real quick what it is, what it does, and most importantly, what you can do with it and how you can make money with it. The DW, or the, well, we're just call it, I call it DW wash, right? DW dynamic white, because you get cool white and you get warm white. And you get like a really, really warm or almost blue cool white. It's really great. But let's take a look at the front here, right? First of all, the front, we've got this little lens right here. What's really unique about this guy is that you can pop this out and this lens comes out here. It's got a couple other lenses or you can leave it completely wide open and just have a really nice wash. It varies lenses give you various degrees. I personally, for a stage wash, I want it to be as wide as possible. So we took it out entirely. Spoiler alert, by the way, two of them washed out the entire stage. Now we still had our side fills, which is really important. And we had a couple of foot washes, but we actually had to unplug the foot wash because of the range this thing gives you, the coverage, the color temperature, Adding the foot washes actually was too much, so we had to unplug those. So we just had these, and we had a little bit of side fill to get rid of some of the shadows, but even the side fill couldn't compete with these things. But insanely bright. Now, I'm a big fan of telling people that wattage doesn't matter, but now you're gonna ask, well, what's the wattage? Well, it's 150 watt power draw, so it's really not that much, especially when you compare it to a 575 watt or 750 watt uh, Leco, which is what we use for the washes, because we really need it specific uh, a wash over the stage area. I was worried a little bit at first because this didn't have the framing shutter, so I didn't know if I'd be able to really get everything directly on the stage like I needed to, like I could do with the Lecos. But because of the interchangeable lenses, it really wasn't needed as much. Uh, and then the Fresnels that we had, again, those things suck an insane amount of power. So we were able to put a couple of these and our sound system on one circuit, and that thing was a saving grace. But again, let's go back and take a look, right? It's powered by this incredible 150 watt COB LED. If you guys are not familiar with COB, make sure you guys watch my videos explaining what chip on board technology is. In reality, what this light is, is you have your DMX control or control board right here. You've got your power supply. You get your LED and you have your uh, reflector right here. And the rest of this is a big giant heat sink. Because again, LEDs themselves right here in the front may not put out as much heat but it does generate heat and there's obviously heat loss as you know, we power different fixtures. It's got a pretty large size heat sink and fan in it, but despite this having a fan, it's pretty damn quiet. Now, this looks pretty big. I mean, I'm not that tall anyways to begin with, right? But this thing's a little bit bigger than my head, but it's still pretty lightweight. One of our guys was able to easily hang this with one hand while they held the bar with the other, tied it together, great. Okay, so I've removed the lens here just to show you. You've got this nice glass cover. You gotta have the glass cover, otherwise that COB is unprotected. You definitely don't want that. But I kind of, you know, I, at first I was kind of like annoyed that the glass cover comes off. I'm like, well, crap, this is one more thing I'm gonna lose. But then I thought back, no, no, no. I use a lot of haze on my shows and haze always winds up underneath and then I have to clean it out. I gotta take the whole fixture apart. The fact that I can remove the glass out of this is great because it does allow me to clean it a lot easier. You can run this with DMX. You can power link it. It does have five pin and three pin DMX. You know, most applications I'm gonna use this for, which is really a stage wash, I don't necessarily need DMX for it. 
uh, because like for example in the bridal or the uh, beauty pageant excuse me it was just on they did not need me to dim the lights or anything like that but if I'm gonna use this as a actual stage wash for like let's say a play or a much more elaborate beauty pageant or bridal show or even for an event of course you're gonna want to DMX it over here you can actually see let me go ahead and just kind of point this behind me here it's got the nice bright wash directly behind me and it actually has a bunch of pre-made colors so I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock this for just a second okay you can see the different color temperatures that it comes with it. So you get that really nice traditional uh, deep or uh, deep yellow, excuse me, deep yellow white that you would get from some of the older bulbs. And of course you got a little bit of everything in between or you can program your own color. Um, I can actually go here. Let's see. And I can change my own, right? So I can have where it's got that nice level of warm white and cool white. I can bring the warm white down a bit and make it a little bit cooler. It does have some sound active stuff. It's got some pre-built shows. And let's see here. And of course you've got your dimming curve. So now the important question is, how do I make money with it? Well, the advantages of having warm white and cool white in one fixture allow you to do a plethora of different types of events because not every event wants that cool white LED and not every event wants that warm, warm, traditional white. And I'll give you an example. I had an event years ago before this guy ever came out, right? It was a, a wedding reception and they wanted a winter wonderland. And they're like, man, I just really wish we didn't have those, you know, yellow tungsten lights that the venue had. And it was all like a deep yellow. This is not pretty at all. And I'm like, you know what? Look, I've got an idea. I had my ADJ freak lights, you know, strobes. We had them just set to solid white and everything was all white in that room. And it was wonderful. And when you actually open the door, to let the couple in, you could see how yellow the uh, hall lights really were. Well, the problem with the freak lights is that they're meant to be a strobe and a blinder. They're not really meant to be a wall wash or a stage wash, excuse me. And you would have those really harsh lines between where the LED hit and where it didn't hit. The other important thing that you can, you know, that you really need to consider when you're doing this kind of stuff is to get power. You know, if I go up to a client, I'm like, well, listen, uh, you're going to want to wash this entire stage. We're going to need, you know, eight of these fixtures, eight of those. They're going to pay, you know, depending on the venue, uh, around here, they're going to pay anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 just in power to properly wash the stage. Now, LEDs have cut that down to a fraction of the price because I could take eight of those fixtures, replace them with eight of these, put them on the same circuit, and boom! And I was like, still the same amount of power. Now, that really doesn't matter to us because we usually would pass that cost on to the client. But again, it's the fact that you're the one going up to the client's like, listen, we don't need that much power. I can save you a couple thousand dollars by using these and these fixtures. Here's the advantages that you get. And not to mention that if you're using Lico's or Fresnel's or anything like that, you still have to have a dimmer pack to be able to dim them up and down. And those dimmer packs, you know, cost money. Everything costs money. Bulbs cost money. This, I don't need a dimmer pack. It's got the DMX built in. So as a stage wash, yeah, this is the common sense choice. Now, for events, well, what can you use this for? Well, for example, weddings, right? If you hear a bride say that they spent $3,000 on a Vera Wang dress or, you know, some overly expensive dress, right? Even, even designers like Alfred Angelo, that's still a few hundred dollars a dress, easily, minimum. Why would you sit there with a bunch of blinking lights for the first dance? You know, I'm gonna tell brides, listen, your light show, you know, we're gonna be able to flood the area with really pretty colors. We can do this, we can do that, whatever you wanna tell them, right? But in the end, it's your first dance that's so important. You want something that's gonna look good in photos and in videos. So let's talk about a true white wash for your first dance. Award ceremonies, corporate events, where they need a good wash, even just one, right overhead to highlight a single person talking, great. Two of them really help reduce shadows. So I usually try to sell at least two. And then for an event, oh, now you've got a great blinder. I mean, this ain't, it can strobe. Is it strobe as fast as the freaks? No, but the freaks are dedicated LED strobes. Same thing with, you know, the Cobb Lightning Cannon. But this guy can strobe. 
this guy can do some incredible washes. So I can put a couple of these on the ends of the truss and just boom, just huge impact. So yeah, guys, this is the ADJ Canon Wash DW. This is a perfect solution if you're doing corporate events, if you're doing AV, if you're doing higher end lighting design, even if you're doing beginning lighting design, whatever it is, you're gonna find room in your toolbox for a true white wash and have a dynamic range between the cool and the warm colors. Again, the ADJ COB Canon White Wash DW. My name is Arnaldo Washman with Gear It First. Guys, make sure you subscribe down below, like the video, share this with your friends, any comments or questions, leave them down below. And remember, when you order the light, tell your dealer you saw it on gearitfirst.com. Thanks so much for watching, good night, and God bless.